Hello, welcome to Easy Drupal and our video tutorial on installing and configuring Google Tag Manager with Drupal 9. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you and guide you through the process of setting up and configuring Google Tag Manager. Uh, that's a powerful tool for sort of tracking website analytics and managing marketing tags. We'll do this on Drupal 9. Okay, so to get started, first thing we have to do is install the module. Now we install mo modules on Drupal 9 using Composer. If you're not sure how to do that, refer to my previous video, which I will link to down below or on the screen. I'm working locally on my uh, local Easy Drupal test site, so I can't do any damage. So I have Docker set up locally to run my local website. Um, and again, there's another video for that, which I'll link to above or below or somewhere. So the first thing we need to do is log on to our Docker container. And that is done using this command, docker exec minus it easy Drupal, which is the name of the container, slash bin slash bash, which is what it opens it in. And that will basically connect me to the server via SSH. So if I do an ls minus al in there, if I can spell it, you'll see the root of my Drupal site. Okay, so we use Composer to install and remove modules. Again, there's a video which I will link to that you can see how to do that. You really do need to use Composer with Drupal 9. You can do it manually, but you're just going to get yourself in all sorts of mess. Must use Composer is, is the, the key. Okay, so the command for this is Composer require. Now you can just do Drupal slash Google tag, which is the name of the module, or you can go to the drupal.org website find the project and it will give you a link with the latest version included. Um, but for, the, for this exercise, we'll just use slash Google tag. That's perfectly acceptable. Hit return and that will go and get the necessary files. So that is now installed. And that, what that means is that the code is now available to Drupal. So if we look here, hopefully it should be in here. Yeah, Google tag is now appeared in here. So that's the code it's downloaded. And then using Drush, we need to enable that. Again, I can't spell Drush. <laughs> and that will go away and enable that for us. And then we will just do a Drush cache clear. Lovely. Okay, so we're ready to start using Google Tag Manager. So moving over to our Website. This is my local Easy Drupal site. We should go into configuration. In fact, first of all, let's just go into extend, which is where the modules will be listed. And you will see if I search for Google Tag Manager, you'll see that it is installed and it is enabled. So from the configuration page, which is actually the best place to go when you're first setting it up, uh, we have an item called Google Tag Manager. Click on that and we'll see that we can add a container. Now, for this, you will need to go to Google Tag Manager site itself and make sure that you have a container set up. Um, I will do that in a separate video, uh, but I'll just show you on the screen. This is my Tag Manager account for Shop of the World, which is a site that I run. Uh, and basically you go in here and you set up a, an account. So you set up an account uh, and then you set up a tag which goes inside your container. So in our tag manager, you'll see that I've got a single tag that is triggered on all pages. So if we look at that, uh, I don't think I'm giving anything away here. Um, yeah, so I've got a Google Analytics tag and it is triggered on all pages. So in a separate video, I'll show you how to set that up. Uh, but let's, for, this, for the sake of this one, let's assume we've already got that container set up. So our container ID is this here, GTM K3RCNBT. Now, again, there's nothing secret about that because you can look at any one of my web pages and see that. So I don't think I'm giving anything away there. So in our configuration page, you can see that we don't have any containers yet. So the first thing we need to do is add a container and you'll see that the most basic thing you need is your container ID. So we paste that in there. Obviously that's uh, not the correct one for this website 
because this isn't a live website. Okay, so the paths or so looking in this section below, we can see the insertion conditions. And these are the things that will change whether or not that container is shown on your page. So for example, Google Analytics, you do not want to be showing it on admin pages. So it puts in these standard paths that we don't want to show the container on. Okay, so you can do the same for user roles. So I could say, well, I don't want to show it for administrator. So anyone who's logged in as administrator container will not be, be shown or used. You don't have to show it on 404 pages. So it's optional whether you show it on 404 pages or not. I think it's probably a good idea uh, so that you can tell if you've got pages that are being shown that are not working correctly. Content type, again, you can just show it on different content types, etc., etc., etc. So there's various things you can do there so that you only show the container on those particular pages. So let's give it a, a name, let's call it standard content. So for the advanced tab, just accept the default. Okay, we save that and we now have a container called standard content. So if we go into settings, we can see those same settings plus some extra stuff. Google Tag Manager uses a snippet which it saves uh, locally on your server. You can change where that uh, is, is saved if you wish to, but again, just use the defaults is fine. Uh, some other options here that you can do with that uh, snippet. And then again, we've got our um, request paths here if we want to change those. So that's all good. We can save that. So now if we were to visit a page on the site, if we go to the home page of the site. So I was struggling to make the tag appear on my local site. I'm not sure if that is because it's local host. Anyway, just show you on this site, which is my Shop of the World site. Um, and if we look at... If we view the source on one of these pages, that let's look, go into a page that looks a bit more interesting. So if we view source on this page and search for Tag Manager, you'll see here is the link to the script, which includes the um, Google Tag Manager container, which then includes your analytics or your Facebook tags or whatever tags it is that you want to manage. So the beauty of Tag Manager is that you just add the tag once to your page. You manage your tags, the actual tags, through Tag Manager. So the container gets added and you then just add a tag to Tag Manager in here, like so. Um, and if I wanted to add a new tag, I can do so quite easily. I give the tag a name. So for example, if I wanted to add some pixel tags, I can do that in here. I get all of these different types to do, but we're going to cover that in a separate video, so I won't show that now. Okay, so that's how you manage Tag Manager in Drupal, uh, Drupal 9. I'll leave the links to all of the uh, various bits down below, uh, but basically once you've uh, installed it, you go to Configuration, Google Tag Manager, add a container, manage that container and the container will then appear on your site wherever you tell it to. Pretty easy really. Any questions let me know down below and I'll try my best to answer. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.